In this video, we talk about the git ignore file, which allows you to remove or hide files from your remote repository. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, obviously, when you're pushing your files to a remote repository like GitHub, ev everything you push to that remote repository, as long as it's public, is viewable by the public. So everyone and their mother can see what you're pushing into GitHub, and maybe there's some data or some images or something like that that you don't want people to have access to. Like maybe you're creating a program that analyzes data, and you need that data you know, in your local repository so you can test things out, but you don't need that data pushed into your remote repository for everyone to see. So there's a solution to this and it's called a git ignore file. And basically what it is is a file with a list of files that you don't want pushed into a remote repository. So we're gonna set that up in this video. And to do it, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna create a new file and that's just called .git ignore. And then in this file, we can list out the files and folders that we don't want pushed into our remote repository. Now we can go line by line, like index.html. If we don't want that pushed to our remote repository, we could do that. Or we can also use like some special characters to match patterns and things. So let me put this in here real quick so we can talk about it quickly. All right, so we got a few different options here and I'll try and put this in the video description too so you have it handy. So we can have comments in here. So if we have a long list of files and we want to com you know, put a comment next to a section of files, we could go ahead and do that. Uh, this, an asterisk is like a wild card. So it matches, you know, zero or more characters. And we'll probably do that in this video here. A question mark matches one character. So if you have one character that could be variable, you could go ahead and do that here. Uh, if you wrap it in brackets, like a list, it matches A, B, or C. And then also there's double asterisk, which matches nested directories like so. So again, I'll post this in the description below this video so you can go back and uh, revisit it if you need it. So let's come over to my repository, my local repository real quick. And let's say that I have a folder in here called data. And I'll go ahead and add a couple files to it real quick just so we have something to work with. And so we got data one and let's do data two. All right, so we have two data files that um, we're using in our project and maybe we don't, we don't wanna push it to our remote repository. So what I could do is I'll just do data and then let's just do data one.xlsx. I think that's the right extension, xlsx. So we don't want to upload the data one file to our remote repository in this example. So I'll go ahead and save it real quick, save that file and come over to git bash and I'll go ahead and git add period, git commit and added raw data privacy. And then I'll go ahead and git push origin master to push it into GitHub, our remote repository. All right, let's refresh our remote repository now. So now you see I have my data folder up here, right? And you can also see that I have a git ignore file as well. So we see that there. I can open the data file and we see that data one has not been added to our remote repository, right? So that's how you could go ahead and exclude certain files. Now, of course, we could go ahead and exclude our entire data folder if we wanted to, uh, because I mean, maybe we don't want any data being uploaded to our remote repository. So let's go back into our git ignore file and we'll just do, it will do data and any XLL, XLSX file in there. So we're using that wildcard, the asterisk there to basically filter out any files with the XLSX extension that are in the data folder, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, we'll go ahead and save it real quick and then go ahead and we'll go ahead get add put a shit in the staging area get commit and then we are doing updating privacy or whatever and then get push origin master 
and we're pushing it to our remote repository now. And then I can go ahead and refresh it real quick. And we see our data folder is still here. So let's click into it real quick. And we see that data2.xlsx is still in our data folder. So we, we missed something here because this shouldn't be here. Because if we go back and we look at our gitignore file, we see that like we, we blocked it out. We, do, we shouldn't have our data2 file available for people to see. So we gotta go do one extra step. Come back into git bash real quick. And what we wanna go ahead and do is clear our, our cache. So to do it, we do git rm and then rf and then cached period. So there we go, we kinda cleared our system like that. And then we'll go to git add period, git commit and updated security and then get push origin master and let it all do its thingy and then I'll go ahead refresh this page real quick and now you notice that the git or the uh, data folder is gone right now and that's because there's no no files in it that we have access to so it doesn't even bother to show that folder to us but if I went ahead and added a file. So let's go ahead and add a text document. So not a .xlsx file. So I added that and I come back over here and get add get commit add, oh, adding dummy file get push origin master let it load and then I refresh the page and our data folders there and we have our dummy new text document in our data folder. So basically just remember if you're going in after the fact and updating your git ignore file, you have to add that extra uh, line of code in there to basically clear everything out and re repost it essentially is what you're doing there. And I have that that code snippet below this video so you can use it as well. And that is it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.